Okay, so part two of our rock formation videos today. We notice right here I have many different types and different colors of Play-Doh. These different types and colors of Play-Doh are, me are meant to represent sediment. So we talked about in the first video the concept that pressure is necessary to create sedimentary rock. So if these have been deposited on top of each other, you can see it's higher, kind of like what we'd have in a riverbed. What we could do is we could push these together. And as I'm starting to push these together, we notice that the colors are starting to mix. And if I were to suddenly pause, let's say here, this would look a lot like a sedimentary rock because you have different colors and while it's been fused together, compacted and cemented together into one solid piece, you can still see all the separate portions. But metamorphic rock also experiences tremendous amounts of heat. So what I'm gonna do is by using my hands, I'm gonna continue to manipulate or move these pieces of rock. And what you're noticing is that this Play-Doh is starting to blend much more together and the colors are starting to become less distinct. Rather, they're all starting to blend together with this idea of concept. Now, this is happening beneath the lower levels of the Earth's crust, or at the very top portion of the mantle. We know that we have thermal energy produced by our inner core as a result of it being solid iron, and the concept that all the heat is developed by all the pressure. We know that pressure put on the core from the outer layers results in tremendous amounts of thermal energy, and this thermal energy travels upward through our geosphere, through the outer core, through the mantle, and then by the time it gets to the crust, it's disappeared. So the reason metamorphic changes aren't happening, we can see we're almost all the way there, the reason metamorphic changes aren't happening on the crust is that there's no, there's no thermal energy in the form of heat uh, at that level because all the heat's dissipated as it's traveled outward. So this is why this happens at the very lower level. Once again, you notice I'm continuing to add both pressure but also the heat from my hands. And as I continue to do this, we're basically getting rid of all these distinct colors until eventually what we get is something that is completely changed form. So what we have here, examples of metamorphic rock, we notice that all the distinct separate patterns and colors we saw from the sedimentary portion are gone. And because we've added both intense heat from my hand and intense pressure from my hand as well, we have changed the rock form once again from sedimentary into metamorphic. This wraps up our conversation about metamorphic rock formation. If you have any questions, please feel free to check out the rest of my YouTube videos. Thanks for watching.